Hello everybody, my name is Lisa Ronson of Vesa. I'm currently a junior at Princeton University studying computer science, but never about me. Let's get into this. Alright, so what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be going over the controller commands and essentially what's the difference between the flow and the boolean and how they work and really how you could really embed a bunch of buttons into really one function. So I hope this video is short and quick for you guys that you guys could just like, okay, that's how it works. Let's get it. Let's go into this. Okay, so I already have my public void controller function here. So, because I love functions, you know, functions are nice, they're amazing, use them. So, now I'm all saying, um, gamepad one, and so you have, you guys have the option of gamepad one, gamepad two. Gamepad one is the first controller, gamepad two is the second controller. You guys should be able to see this on your driver's controller when you guys select a controller. So that's how it works. You guys are able to use two controls, maximum the competition. So use it. It's really useful. It's kind of hard to just literally invent every single command into one controller. It's just useful. You just have two drivers, one controller the arm, one controller the driving. It's, I would really recommend it. So we're going to go with gamepad one. Okay. So first we're going to go over just the basic buttons, the ones that are Boolean. And then we're gonna, I'm going to be discussing. And then I'm going to use a little example of how to use them. And then I'm going to be going to the float into the float ones okay so first i'm gonna be using just the normal buttons so we're gonna go to x so as you guys can see if i do x it's a boolean if i do y if i do b and if i do i think i already did way okay so as you guys know this is literally it's that simple you see whatever you see on the controller that's what it is and then we're gonna go to the d-pad which is this, these buttons right here. Obviously, depending on the control you have, they it might look a little bit different, but at the end of the day, they're all the same. So we're gonna go to D-pad, down, left, right, and up. As you guys can see, they're all Boolean, so if you press it, it's gonna be true. If you release it, it's gonna be false. Essentially, like the touch button, however you guys wanna use the touch sensor, that's essentially what it is at the end of the day this controller is actually just a really complicated sensor which is really cool that we're able to use all right so then now we go to a little bit more complicated realm oh as well the the left the left bumpers which is these top ones are as well volumes okay now we're gonna go to the left to left stick so the left stick is a flow as you guys can see right here so meaning that it's it has a number assigned to it either like when you go all the way to the left it's a negative one if you go all the way to the right it's positive one if you go all the way up it's positive one if you go all the way down it's a negative one so this is why math is really important when you go to the left of the x-axis it's negative when you go to the right it's positive in the x-axis when you go up it's positive in the x-axis in the y-axis my bad then when you go down it's negative in the y-axis so it's simple algebra not that complicated it should you know it's easy okay and obviously in the middle it's at zero so right now this will be at zero so then i'm gonna go to left Ooh, let's check so i'm gonna use the x-axis so i want it for example whenever i go to the to the left i want it to be like hey just even if i move it just a little i want this i want it to be true because i want instant response i don't want it to be a certain value because either ways is that I want it to be between a range because I want it to work. If you just do it specific, if it's not exactly at that value, it's not gonna work. So we're gonna do if okay, and then we're gonna do greater or equal to negative one. You might be like, why greater than that? Because negative one is the max, the maximum value that it could be on when it goes all the way to the left. So and I want it to be greater than that, and then as well. So we're gonna use an AND, so a logical statement. And then we're gonna do gamepad one dot left stick is greater than zero. So, well, let me add that. Less than zero. So what this means is that if it's less than zero, meaning I moved it to the left and it's greater than negative one, the statement's gonna be true. They both have to be true or else it's false. As you guys can see, I had to use just a little bit of just numbers here you can literally define this if you want to as a double i don't know value is equal to negative one and you can literally just change this to to value 
same thing it doesn't really matter okay so now that you guys saw that now we're gonna it's the same thing for the right one x and y axis you could if you really don't like the the left you could use the right stick oh. and that's it so for example what this one would do th this one's pretty pretty cool if you ask me so we're gonna do the y so what this is gonna say is that if i'm going up and left at the same time whatever i have inside this if statement is gonna be true so this is another way to be able to embed multiple things into like for example so you guys know for example like on i don't know fortnite you know you have to press two buttons in order to be able to do something or just simple stuff like that so that's essentially what you could do with this just use two values and be like hey are they true if yes now do it pretty cool right you might i know I, you might look sometimes like, like you know what these, these engineers must have written lines and lines and lines of code just to just to make it so when you press this but obviously there's more complicated ways they obviously do a way way more cooler way than this but this is just a simple bare bone just hey let's get it working it doesn't matter let's get it you know obviously we are trying to like do math and maybe like okay we gotta do really careful okay you know only at this certain value and you want to like you know program the hardware but at that point why <laughs> okay so that's pretty much what it is and then as well and so another one that I, f I feel like not many people know so so the left stick button so what this is is essentially when it's pressed as you guys know these buttons you could press them obviously it's not a flow anymore so it's just a volume oh as well if just for a little sanity check sometimes you, you could just do true meaning that if this statement is true it's gonna it's gonna run meaning that if if the left stick button is pressed it's gonna be true else it's gonna be false and then that's pretty much it so you could also do like if gamepad one dot left stick button is equal to false i don't know do something else so so this essentially means when it's not pressed i wanted to do something else pretty cool so yeah that's, that's that's pretty much it very cool very straightforward like this video is just meant f for me to use kind of show you guys how to call it how the functions are called what's the difference between a boolean and a flow how it's used like this should just give you guys a general idea it's not supposed to be a whole detail just kind of like okay like i'm kind of a little bit confused so i want just a little quick explanation i hope that this really helped you guys and uh it really helped you guys because that's what these are for. So, good luck in competitions. If you made the state, congrats. Everything, everybody, even if you didn't go to work, everything. So, thank you guys for watching my videos and I hope that this really helped you guys.